Welcome to DigitalDIY.com. This tutorial is designed to get your feet on the ground and running when it comes to creating your own articles or adding content. It's a very simple process and it starts off by creating a registered user account. So you just click on the user portal and then you click register down here. Once you've registered, you'll have access to the forum. You can, you've already got access to the forum, but now you can post in the forum. You can add comments to any article without having to, needing to enter in the security code. And you can now download any of the files that are located in the file browser online. To physically write an article, say in the Proton section, you need to have your account upgraded to either an author or an editor. To do this, simply click on the forum link and then scroll down to the digital DIY author or edit editor applications and just put in a quick blurb on what you're going to contribute to the site an administrator upgrade upgrade your account and you will then have access to this link on the on the home page which is in the user menu called submit an article so let's begin by creating an article for the proton pick micro section so I'm going to click click on submit an article and it opens up my editor. The editor starts up with all blank content. A good way to kick it off is to go down to this drop down box down the bottom that says templates and select the tutorial template. It loads in some basic content with some simple formatting uh, and just a, a basic guide on how to structure your tutorial. It's just a guide. You can use it as you will. Take things out, add things in. Down in this section where it says publishing in the section, change it to pick microcontrollers, and in the category, change it to Proton. So now this this tutorial itself will be added to that section when you click on the Save button. Go through, edit it as you will, uh, use any of the formatting available. If you want to add code to the site, use this Insert Edit Code button. So I'll go down to the to the code section. I'll just delete it. I'm going to click on this icon. Because I'm going to add some Proton code, I'm going to select from the drop down box Proton Basic. It's just a good idea to remove the line numbers, it just makes it makes it look cleaner. And I'm going to paste some code that I've already got copied. And click on the insert button. You'll notice the code has been inserted and reserved words in the editor have already been highlighted and comments have been highlighted and formatted accordingly. The next slightly advanced step is to add file attachments or images. So to add file attachments, open up the file browser, click on the submit file link, choose the uh, scenario that suits yours. In this case, I'm uploading a file from my computer. Browse for the file. and click upload. It's important to change the title to what the file physically is. It makes it easier for searching later on. So if it's a library of some sort, then just call it that. and make sure you select the correct category for it. In this case, all the pick files just go in this folder, pick files, and obviously the same thing for AVR files. And if it doesn't fall into anything specific, it's just, for example, it's a, it's a, it's a digi tip or it's some sort of tutorial on something outside of a microcontroller, then put it in general files. From there, you can link to the, the page it's, this isn't overly important, but it, it helps indexing later on. So if people are browsing through the file explorer, they can click on that link and it takes them straight back to it. You might need to wait until your article's been saved and come back and edit that property. In the permissions tab, uh, chances are you won't be able to edit these unless you're a publisher or above. You can add a quick description of the file. Don't worry about the CRC checksum or the MD5 checksum, they're optional fields. Once you've finished, click on the green tick to save your details and your file has been submitted. You can view this by clicking on downloads, downloads home 
and clicking on the category that you saved it to. In this case, here it is here. To copy to this file, just simply right click on it and copy link location. Because you notice if you go to click on this, it'll actually go to download the file itself. With that hyperlink that's saved in the, in the memory, select where, where you want to add it in your editor. Click on the hyperlink, insert edit link icon. And in the URL, just control V or paste your, uh, your the link that you got from your file explorer. And then click on insert. This will now directly take you to that uploaded file. If you decide to update that file for whatever reason, it's very easy to do so at digitaldiy.com. Just go back to the downloads um, section with your file, navigate to your file, and click on the update button here. From there, it allows you to upload a new file, and of course change the details, and then save the document. That way, this link doesn't have to be changed, and your file can be dynamically updated as much as you like. The next feature that I want to cover is adding an image to the article itself. This can be done by clicking on the insert edit image button and it will bring up your your image manager. In the folders it will always start off with root directory. This is your directory, it isn't shared with other people. So keep it structured, keep it maintained in whatever way you choose to see fit. Personally, I like to store things in subfolders, so I'm creating an article called example. So I'm going to create a, called, create a folder called example. Click on that folder, and now this is the, uh, the directory that you're working with. I'm going to add a GIF image to upload to the site. So click on the upload button that was next to the new folder button, and then click on this add button. Select the file that you, wanna, that, that you would like to upload and click open. Notice the cross that's beside the file name. This means that it hasn't been uploaded yet. Click on the upload button and I'll wait for it wait for a tick to come up. Once that's come up, click on cancel and now your file has been uploaded to the digitaldiy.com server. Click on the file name and up the top the URL will be populated along with alternative text which you can edit um, most of these settings you won't have to worry about. You can add some um, a rollover image that it changes to. Um, yeah, play around with it if you will, but the default settings should be suffice just to display that image as it is in its raw content. So after selecting it, click insert, and there it is in your article. Finally, before clicking on the save button, just double check you've selected the right section and category. Don't worry about this show on front page feature, it's something that's used on the back end to, uh, to change the, the way the front page looks. Leave the access level to public so that anybody can view the article. Add some metadata if, if you see fit, it's not really required. And then click save. My file was, was called tutorial hyphen and some default text from the template. I'm going to go to the proton section and have a look for it in here you'll notice it's not actually listed. This is because you've got an author account, not an editor account or a publisher account. Authors can create articles, but they can't edit them afterwards. It need, the, pub, the article itself needs to be approved by a publisher, and after that the content can be viewed by the general public. Don't let this stop you creating articles though. Your articles will be quickly reviewed and added to the site, if you feel you can contribute more to the site by being an editor and being able to change other articles, uh, update bits and pieces in your own articles if you have a lot of them, feel free to go back to the forum and just apply in that section to become an editor.